Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about objectives, questions and answer of metal casting processes. Here that will be the top 20 questions with detailed explanations. So this is our part number 6. So let us start with our question number 1. In centrifugal casting, cores are made of option A steel option b cast iron option c hard sand and option d none of the above so basically into a working of centrifugal castings without utilization of core you should make a hollow component so here that will be the material it will be given like steel cast iron and hard sand but in case of centrifugal castings without core you should make a hollow component so the right answer is option d none of the above the next water pipes of large length and diameter are made by option a semi centrifugal casting option b continuous casting option c sand casting and option d forging so basically the water pipes of the large length and diameter are made by semi centrifugal casting process so the right answer is option a the next which of the following process would produce strongest components option a die casting option b hot rolling option c forging and option d cold rolling so basically if you want to talk about a uh, strongest components so forging process that will be preferred for the various manufacturing processes so the right answer is option c forging the next in hot chamber method of die casting option a only low melting point metals can be cast option b high melting point metals can be cast option c die is kept hot by electrical heating and option d die is kept cold by circulating water says so from the name hot chamber die castings so only that will be feasible with respect to a low melting point metals can be cast so the right answer is option a next which of the following is not a casting process? Option A. Cartier's process. Extrusion process. Option C. Semi-centrifugal method. And option D. Slush casting process. So basically, in that case, the extrusion that will be not considering as a casting process. So that will be considering as a forming process. So the right answer is option B. Which of the following pattern is used to produce a number of castings? Option A. Loose piece pattern. Option B. Split pattern. Option C. Gated pattern. And option D. Match pattern. So basically gated pattern that will be used to produce a number of castings. So option C. Then next the distortion in casting cannot be prevented by option A modification of casting design. Option B providing distortion allowances. Option C providing sufficient machining allowance to cover the distortion effect. And option D providing proper shrinkage allowances so basically in case of distortion can be prevented by all the a b and c but cannot be prevented by providing proper shrinkage allowances so here that would be question is related with a uh, the distortion in castings cannot be prevented so the right answer is option d the next the low permeability in sand can cause which of the following defects into the casting option a rough surface option b blowholes 
ऑप्शन सी हॉट टीयर्स एंड ऑप्शन डी ड्रॉप सो बेसिकली विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू लो परमिबिलिटी सेंस दैट विल बी कोज इज अ ब्लो होल्स इन टू द कास्टिंग्स सो ऑप्शन बी देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ टाइप ऑफ कोर अकॉर्डिंग टू डेर पोजिशन ऑप्शन ए हॉरिजोंटल ऑप्शन बी वर्टिकल ऑप्शन सी इनक्लाइंड एंड ऑप्शन डी बैलेंस सेस फ्रॉम द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कोर्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द पोजिशन द हॉरिजोंटल वर्टिकल बैलेंस डेट ऑल आर द टाइप्स ऑफ कोर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू इट्स पोजिशन देन मोर लाइक की स्कोर दैन हैंगिंग कोर्स बट एज पर द गिवन ऑप्शन द इनक्लाइन डेट विल बी नॉट अ टाइप ऑफ कोर सो ऑप्शन सी द नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ट्रू अबाउट कोर चैपलेट यूज इन कास्टिंग ऑप्शन ए इट इज अ मेटल लोकेशन पीसिस ऑप्शन बी इट प्रिवेंट्स कोर इन शिफ्टिंग इट्स पोजिशन ऑप्शन सी it gives extra support to core and option d it is removed after casting so basically chaplets used in castings is not removed after the castings so the right answer is that will be d it is removed after the castings that is not a true about a core chaplet used into the castings the next crucible furnace is used for melting of option a cast iron option b copper based alloys option c alloy and option d non ferrous metal so basically the application of crucible furnace is used for melting of non ferrous metals so right answer is option d the next which of the following is not a requirement of a good pattern option a it should be light in weight to handle easily option b it should be smooth to make casting surface smooth option c it should have low strength to break it and remove casting easily and option d none of the above so basically it should have low strength to break it and remove the castings easily so that is the right answer option c the next which casting process has no size and shape limits option a sand casting option b cell mold casting option c plaster mold casting and option d none of the above so basically there will be the no limitation with respect to the shape and size so you should prefer sand casting process so the right answer is option a sand casting the next question blow holes in castings are caused by option a excessive moisture option b low permeability option c excessive fine grains and option d all of the above so basically the blow holes that will be the one kind of defects into the castings are caused by excessive moisture low permeability as well as excessive fine grains so the right answer is option d all of the above the next with an increase in the weight of riser what would be the corresponding change into the yield option a increase option b decrease option c will not change and option d not related so basically weight of the riser and the yield of the castings are inversely proportional to each other so that is the with the increasing into the riser the yield will it will be decreases so the right answer is option b decreases the next which of the following factors is not considered in regards with directional solidifications option a riser diameter option b riser height option c riser location and option d metal to be casted so basically when directional solidification is taken into the considerations the size of the riser as well as the locations are the factors but the metal to be casted 
is not a factor of the directional solidification process. So that will be not depends upon the which kind of compositions, right? So the right answer is option D, metal to be casted. The next question, with an increase in the initial volume, how does it affect the efficiency of the riser? Option A, increase. Option B, decrease. Option C, will not change. And option D, not related. So basically, the initial volume of the metal inside the riser and the efficiency of the riser are inversely linked with each other. So that with an increase into the initial volume, there will be a decrease in the efficiency of the riser. So the right answer is option D, decreases. The next question, in solidification of riser, which of the following cannot be used for insulation? Option A, insulation powder. Option B, insulation sleeve. Option C, insulation pad. And option D, insulation clip. So in case of the solidification of the riser, the insulation is done. So the insulation powder, insulation sleeves and insulation pad can be used. But insulation clips that will be not used. So right answer is option D. The next, which of the following will not affect insulation? Option A, charcoal. Option B, graphite. Option C, copper and option D, outhulls. So basically, when there is an additional of a powdered form of charcoal, graphite or outhulls, there is an insulation effect in the riser. But there will be the addition of the copper, there will be no any kind of effect. So right answer is option C. The next, how can we eliminate the shrinkage cavity? Option A, by increasing riser height. Option B, by reducing riser height. Option C, reducing the number of riser. And option D, by using an open riser. So, if the riser height is being reduced, the pipe will extend to cast cavity. Similarly, if less number of the riser is being used, it will not satisfy the feeding distance. But open riser alone can't be helped in reduction of the cavity. But if you are increasing the length of the riser, so the pipe can be controlled into riser itself. So you should eliminate the shrinkage cavity. So the right answer is by increasing riser height. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.